Uh, hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a scrolling app out of Python. Have you ever had a web page you had to read like this where it's just, you know, an absolute ton of text and, you know, you don't want to sit there and keep pushing the arrow buttons and keep scrolling. You, um, you know, you just want to be able to read and the computer can kind of scroll down like that as you read. Well, very simple to do this in Python. You import Pi Auto GUI. And make sure it's installed first before you import it. Then maybe create some variables. Um, let me see. Am I using? Okay. Time equals input. Uh, how fast should it scroll? Something like that. Perhaps this should be speed speed and um, yep you know that should be all I need see if I figure out anything else later but now I'm just gonna do pi auto GUI dot sleep and I'll do say three seconds this will give me a moment to get to my page after I run the app then pi auto GUI dot time um, or actually no dot scroll and if you do say 10 that would scroll up by 10 whole clicks if you want to go down you do negative and that that will go down the page like this but I want to do it slowly so I'll do you know what I'll say um, I'm gonna put speed in here anyway because I'm gonna input the speed right there and so then I'll say, you know, just pi auto GUI dot sleep, and I'll sleep it for, you know what, let's do another one. Sleep time equals input uh, how long until next scroll, and then we'll put sleep time in here. And if I run this, it's going to just scroll once, and, and you'll see it. It'll be quick. So how fast should it scroll? I'll do you know negative 20 because I want you to see it. And then until next scroll, one. This actually isn't going to work immediately. Oops. Oops, sorry. I made a, had an error. It's supposed to be time.sleep. Sorry about that. Time.sleep. Okay, let's try again. 10, enter, you know, whatever, 10 again. And this is going to take a big scroll. See that? It just scrolled up. But if you want it to keep going, then all you do is you basically make an infinite loop. So while 0 is less than 10, which it always will be, we're just going to keep running through this code forever. You know, this code is just going to keep executing. It's going to... Let's move sleep out of here because I want sleep to be the initial, um, you know, right after I hit the inputs, I want time to go to the web page. So it'll sleep for three seconds. But this is just going to scroll at your speed. Then it's going to sleep at the speed, you know, the, the amount of time you set it to sleep for here. And it's just going to keep repeating forever until you break the loop. So I'll do run. This time I'm going to do negative three for a scroll speed. And I'll do a one second pause in between each scroll. And it's just going to keep doing this in perpetuity. So I could read along. Okay, let's see. Integer is quiet. Go, oh, type string. Sorry about that. Look at me and my errors. Okay, so let's put this as int. Cast this as an integer. All right, let's, let's do this again here. Okay, how fast should I scroll? Negative 3. Time till next scroll is one. Now it should be, it should just do it infinitely. See that? It's just going to keep doing this until I stop it. And this is great because I can read the web page and I don't have to get carpal tunnel syndrome constantly scrolling down with the mouse or hitting the arrow. And to stop it, you move the mouse to the upper left corner of the screen, and that's a fail safe that will cause the app to, the app to crash. You know, that's just how you stop it. So I'm going to do this again. I'll do a more reasonable speed, negative one. That'll be slow. And I'll do a four second pause in between each scroll. And this will be nice and slow. See that? 
it'll pause for four seconds, then it will scroll again. You know, pause for four seconds, scroll a little bit again. And it'll just keep on doing this until I move the mouse to the upper left corner of the screen, which will crash the program. You see it, it crashed. And that's it. I mean, that's a um, an auto scroll program that you can do very easily. I mean, you saw me whip this up in a, a matter of minutes, and I no longer have to scroll by hand. See, that's great. I'm not I'm not touching the the mouse or the arrows. The computer's doing this itself. I'll just scroll through all this stuff and read it as it's scrolling. Thanks for watching. I'm going to start making tutorials again. It's kind of been a while for me. It's been over a year, but I'm going to get back into the game and make some more tutorials. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.